Hi, I'm Christina Godwin. Welcome to Christina's Big Day. Let me go ahead and open us in prayer. I feel like praying. I hear the spirit pressing on me to just give him glory and invite his presence in this place. And Lord, I invite you in the hearts of everybody who's tuning in and anybody who will ever see this video, Lord, right where they are at this moment, will you touch them with your light? Will you fill their hearts with your love? Lord, we all need to feel peaceful right now. Would you bless us with peace and understanding? And Jesus, be with those who are sick. I thank you again today for all of the healthcare professionals and first responders and our pastors of the world and volunteers, participants of the world that are just doing what they can to help others feel happy and joyful. Will you anoint us with your love, peace, and patience in Jesus' name, amen. So let's take a deep breath and no matter what your circumstances are today, let's try to keep our faith strong and be really grateful. Today's devotion is sweet words. Prince and princesses, I want you to listen up. The royal words say, pleasant words are like honey. They are sweet to the spirit and bring healing to the body. Oh, that's so true. That's in the book of Proverbs 16, verse 24. Prince and princess thoughts. Dee, 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 dee. Words make a difference. Words like please and I love you and you are doing a great job make a person feel really, really good. When we feel good inside, it's easier to get better when we are sick. That is so true. Hey kids, did you know that? That no matter how our mind thinks is how our body starts to feel. So if you feel bad, start saying sweet things to yourself. Those are called positive affirmations. And you can say kind words to other people and that will resonate with your own body, mind, and heart and spirit and make you feel really, really good too. It's a win-win. You can make everybody feel good with kind words, the people you're talking to and yourself. Let's fold our prayer hands, a prayer for the King. Father King, your words are pleasant. Help me to speak kind and pleasant words always. Amen and amen. Prince and Princess in action. Dun, da da da. Taste a breath mint. It's sweet and makes your breath smell really good. Nice words are like breath mints. Pass out pleasant words. Some pleasant words are compliments. Like, you look pretty. Oh, you sure are handsome. Some words encourage a person. You can cheer on a friend or a brother or a sister when you say, you can do it. Today's scripture says, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. That's Genesis 28, 15. I am always with you and for you. Always. The question is whether or not you are with me and for me. I never leave you, but you leave me when you ignore me and refuse to spend time with me. You leave me when you say and do things that you know are wrong. You leave me when you choose being popular over being my child. So when you can't feel my presence, know that you are the one who has moved away. I never left. My love for you is the same yesterday, today, and always. When you feel like I'm far away, just whisper my name. It's a simple act of faith, but it opens your heart to me. Bring me your words of love and praise, and then let me love you. This is wonderful. I love this. He's right. He doesn't ever leave us. It's only us that leaves Jesus. Okay, I'm going to get out of the way and read some scriptures, and I hope that it makes you feel really happy. I will walk by faith even when I cannot see, 2 Corinthians 5, 7. 
He makes all things new. Revelation 21, 5. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. Oh, my favorite scripture of all time. With God, all things are possible. 1926. Matthew 1926. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that God and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 2. Pray more and worry less. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. Proverbs 16, 3. I believe in Christ like I believe in the sun, not because I can see it, but by it I can see everything else. And here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Today's Prince and Princess Devotion book says, Party for Jesus. We can do that. That's easy, right? The royal words say, The wise men went to the house. There they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures. They gave him gold, incense, and myrrh. Oh, that story is in the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 11. So maybe tonight is a good night to read more of the book of Matthew before bed, kids. Prince and Princess Thoughts. Dee, 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 dee. After the birth of Jesus, wise men came and gave him gifts. Incense and myrrh are like sweet-smelling perfumes. Gold cost a lot of money. The wise men bowed and worshiped Jesus, the new king. They clearly knew that the new king, baby Jesus, is pretty special. Let's fold our prayer hands. A prayer for the king. Lord Jesus, you are special. You are king and deserve the gift of my love. Amen and amen. You know, he is the king. And he is still on his throne. He is taking care of all of us with his plan for each and every one of us. So try not to lose faith and always be grateful for what you have today. Don't get ahead of God and worry about tomorrow. That just brings stress and anxiety. But God wants us to rest in today, right here, right now, what we're doing Prince and Princess in action. Dun, da, da, da. Have a spring party for Jesus. Woohoo! It's time to party. If you can pick or buy sweet smelling flowers for Jesus or draw a picture of flowers, he would love that. You can make cupcakes and put a candle in one and let an adult light the candle and sing a praise song. Dance for Jesus. You could, you know, sometimes I like to just sing happy birthday to Jesus while I'm washing my hands. Doesn't matter what day of the week it is or what time of the year it is. Just singing to him makes him so happy. So consider singing a nice song and blow out a candle for Jesus. Yesterday we sang Jesus loves me, but we could always sing happy birthday to Jesus. Just like the book says, be kind, it might be their birthday. So whenever you see a friend or a stranger, always be kind. This book is so cool. It's very encouraging. And it says, provide yourself with some time to think 
about your roots. Think about the things that you believe deeply in. Think about the person you want to become. Think about those that you care most about and how you want them to see you. Think about what you want to guide you during the challenging times, just like right now. Here are some words. Honesty, integrity, hard work, family, leadership, influence, service, being helpful, kindness, optimism, education, perseverance, caring, truth, worship, quiet, connectivity, fitting in, creativity, and love, prestige, having fun, faith, activity, positivity, fairness, respect, and wisdom, community, autonomy, achievement, and fitness. I'd like to read the teen and adult Jesus calling first today. I am right by your side. You, Lord, give true peace. You give peace to those who depend on you. You give peace to those who trust you. That's Isaiah 26, verse 3. If something in your life is making you anxious, come talk to me about it. I am your best friend. The one who always wants to hear from you no matter what time of day or night it is. When you pray, tell me what you need and then thank me. Thank me for listening. Thank me for answering and thank me for the chance to trust me more. You see, I use your tough times to make you a better, stronger person. So we can all just right now say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The world has it backward. The world says, if you have enough money, enough stuff, the right friends, then you will have peace and security. <laughs> but money and stuff can be stolen and friends can let you down. True peace and security come only from me. All you have to do is ask. I'm always right by your side. Amen and amen. Isn't that comforting? Jesus is always right by our side. Let's see. Prince and Princess devotion today. How are all of my princes and princesses out there? Are you doing good? Are you doing well? Are you happy? Are you sparking joy for one another? Are you being patient and kind with one another? I hope so. As hard as it may feel right now, I hope you're holding true to who you really know you need to be in God's eyes. His prince and princess. Be present, be humble, and be kind. Oh, funny, talking about too much stuff, things. That's what our title is for today, too much stuff. The royal words say the land didn't have enough food for both of them. They had large herds and many servants, so they weren't able to stay together. That's Genesis 13, 6 in the Bible. Maybe you could ask your parents to read the entire book of Genesis with you before bed tonight or one night this week. Prince and Princess Thoughts. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Prince and Princess Thoughts say, long ago, Abram and his nephew, Lot, noticed a problem. They had so much stuff that it caused them to fight over where to keep everything. Does that sound familiar? So the men moved away from each other. Do you have too many toys and clothes and not enough room for all of it? Your parents may always have to tell you to clean up your toys. You don't have to move. Give some of your things away to make more room. You don't have to move like out of your home or out of your room if you have too much stuff. Be kind and share and give some of your things away. Let's fold our prayer hands. A prayer for the King. Lord, thank you for my toys and my clothes. Help me to give away what I no longer need. Amen and amen. Prince and princess in action. Da, 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 da. Sort out your clothes and toys. Give away what you don't use or clothes that don't fit anymore. 
make room before asking for more toys or clothes. And today's devotion says, I will take care of you. Deuteronomy 33, 27 in the Bible says, the everlasting God is your place of safety. His arms will hold you up forever. Trust me with all your heart. When you get out of bed in the morning, trust me. At school, trust me. With your friends, trust me. With your family, trust me. With your teachers, trust me. When you go to bed each night, trust me. Trust me at all times and in every situation. I will take care of you. I already have your life perfectly planned out. Isn't that comforting? When everything around you seems to be going wrong and you just are tired of trying, whisper these four words, I trust you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. When you say this, you stop trying to fix everything yourself and you trust the plan I have for you. Let me take care of you. Fall back into the safety of my powerful arms. I promise I'll catch you. Let's say that together, the four words with a whisper. Let's say it together three times. I trust you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. And if you can close your eyes and say, I trust you, Jesus, with an open heart and a deep breath. You can feel his presence. Close your eyes and get peaceful with yourself. And try to get peaceful with all things around you. As you take deep breaths, let's find a calmness in your heart and in your spirit. And our devotion and scriptures read, stop trying to work things out before their times have come. Accept the limitations of living one day at a time. When something comes to your attention, ask me whether or not it is part of today's agenda. If it isn't, Release it into my care and go on about today's duties. When you follow this practice, there will be a beautiful simplicity about your life. A time for everything and everything in its time. A life lived close to me is not complicated or cluttered when your focus is on my presence. Many things that once troubled you lose their power over you. Though the world around you is messy and confusing, remember that I have overcome the world. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Ecclesiastes 3.1 There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the sun. John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Today's devotion for the princes and the princesses says, I can help keep God's world beautiful. The royal words say, the earth belongs to the Lord and so does everything in it. The world belongs to him, and so do all those who live in it. That's Psalm 24, one. Prince and princess thoughts. Deep, 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 deep. The world belongs to God because he made it. He made giant trees, little crawling bugs, twittering birds, tweet, 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 and bright colored flowers, my favorite. You belong to God too. He wants everyone, especially his princesses, to keep the world he made beautiful. He gave us such a beautiful world to live in and everything that was just mentioned is free. 
All we have to do is open our eyes and look. Open the curtains and look out the window. Walk outside just to the end of your driveway. And as you take that deep breath, just look around and notice all the beautiful things God has created along with us. A prayer for the king. Let's fold our prayer hands. Thank you, God, for making such a wonderful world and filling it with so many different animals, plants, and people. Amen and amen. Prince and princess in action. Dun, da 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 Make a litter bag for your car or your bicycle. Add ribbon to the top of a paper or plastic bag and make a handle. And then hang the bag over your handlebars on your bike or over the headrest in your vehicle. And this will help keep your car and God's world clean. I love that. That's something so simple that we can do. We can always find a bag in the house, a grocery bag, a shopping bag. You could get creative with even a giant Ziploc bag. Anyway, I am Christina Godwin, and I am so excited that you're tuning in with me today. Please don't forget to hit a heart, show me you're watching with some love or the thumbs up. Touch that and show me you like what we're doing today. And please subscribe when you go to the YouTube channel to see our other videos. Our YouTube channel is Christina's Big Day. Thank you for being here, everybody. I love you. Bye. Bye.